The blonde is back, bitches. Hello, my lovely vapies. Welcome back. Today's video is a short little vape vlog. Alright guys, yes, so if you have subscribed to my channel in the recent six or so months, you would have not seen my hair at blonde unless you watched my older videos, but since December I've had my hair a different color. Almost every month I've had it pink, purple, blue, gray, and now it's back to my original color, blonde. I feel so fresh and so good. I want to give a huge shout out to my stylist, Jazz, for doing an amazing job once again on my hair. But anyways, let's move on to the vape vlog. Alright guys, so I don't actually have a lot planned for this vape vlog. I'm not prepared. It's a busy Sunday. And so I'm just going to do a quick vape vlog. So basically, e-liquid of the week is how I usually kickstart my vape vlogs. However, the e-liquid that I looked at in the past week, I didn't fall in love with. So I don't have one to say is my e-liquid of the week because I didn't super love any of them. So I'm just going to tell you a few of my favorites. And some of you may already know, my number one favorite of all time is Pound It by Bonsai Vapor. It is an iced lemon pound cake flavor kind of like the one you get at Starbucks like that square piece of pound cake at Starbucks it's so good it's what is in here on my limited edition mint green knee box thank you Chris again for sending me and that is my number one like if I had to vape one flavor for the rest of my life it would be that one next would have to go to Chikora by Cape Fear Juice Company that is a cinnamon rice milk or archata flavor it is so freaking good I just got a few more bottles of it in and so I'm so happy I also really like Rusty Nails by Rasta Vapor. It is a butterscotch marshmallow vape. It is so super sweet, so it's great for a sweet tooth, but it's one that's like so sweet that if you vape it all day, you're like, you know, it's like, it's butterscotch and marshmallow and you almost get that like sticky vibe in your mouth. Like it's so sweet. And then another one that I really, really like is Milk Plus by Bonsai Vapor. Again, they make <laughs> amazing flavors, which is why Two of them are my all-time favorite. It is a sweet salted caramel vape and it is so freaking good. I discovered it a long time ago in my sample box and it actually was the second flavor that I ever obsessed over. So it's always right up there as one of my tip tops. And then another flavor, another company that has two flavors that are my favorites are You Got E-Juice's Cinnamon Roll and You Got E-Juice's Strawberry Cheesecake. They are so freaking good and anybody looking for like a cereal vape my number one cereal vape would be kilos cereal milk and then second place would be looper by animal so those are just some of the ones that i keep stocked at my house even though i have a plethora of e-liquid to vape those are the ones that i want <laughs> i got a big bottle of milk plus right there and i thought i was out of pound it like a few days ago i can't remember exactly when i was like oh my god i'm almost out and then one of you guys was like tia there's a huge bottle behind you because i forget because i only rotate what's in the background every month and so i was like thinking i was out of bonsai's pound it and i was like oh my god i could not i do not run out of that like i'm not gonna let myself run out of that and then someone's like hey it's behind you and i'm like so it is you saved my life and so now i'm vaping away on that bottle and it was a big bottle just like that milk plus bottle so those are my super favorites i'm trying to think of make sure i'm not leaving anybody out that i really really like i do like yummy nectar and i just found this recently yummy nectar's utter scotch i don't have any right now i am getting some more it is on the way to me thank god it is such a good butterscotch vape it's just pure butterscotch and it's like the yellow butterscotch candies mixed with the werther's which are like more of like a, a creamy brownie like coffee color so those are what i'm all time loving still and i will put a link below to all the ones that i mentioned if you're interested in checking them out now i don't actually have any shout outs or comments prepared for this video so we're gonna skip right over that and i have like the tiniest bit of vlog footage i haven't vlogged you guys saw like the most recent vlog footage from my hike at the end of last week's vape vlog and so I didn't I haven't done anything you know super interesting and I doubt you guys want to see more of me just running around doing my normal errands and such but I did uh, film a little tiny bit of vape mail opening so I guess I'll let you guys see that it was like the shortest little like I think I had three or four packages to open a vape mail and so I had recorded that because a lot of people like seeing those but I don't personally like making individual videos for it because I feel like braggy and I don't want to be like that but to each his own, you know, like I said, I do probably like four vape mail videos in a year like that are dedicated to opening vape mail, which I should do one soon. I need to do like a spring because I did a winter one. 
and do like a spring one, a summer one, and a fall one. I don't know. So here's the little vape mail clip. Hey guys, so it is April 14th. It's like 9 o'clock at night and I'm going to do like the miniest vape mail opening ever. I just had happened to stop by the post office on my way home from my mom's house and had a few packages in my P.O. box locker. Oh my gosh, look at my makeup's running. Oh well. Anyways, so let's just get started. This is from Alloy Blends. Ugh, packing peanuts are literally the worst, only because they are so messy. Looks like we have two e-liquids here. Don't mind my dog eating in the background. Ooh, we have the dough. Boston Cream Donut. Oh my god. <laughs> Could really use a donut right now. And smooth pineapple yogurt. Yum. Okay, I have to smell this. Pineapple is one of my faves. I literally actually just got some pineapple spray and pineapple candles from Bath and Body Works. Mmm. Smells so good. Really? Wow. Smells yogurty. Like it's supposed to. Next, we have this package, which is from somewhere overseas because it is a DHL packaging. Woo. Okay. Get this freaking box open. Nope. Need to cut it some more. I'm literally, I have no energy. I stepped up my workout from three pound hand weights to five pounds today. So my arms are dead and this is way harder than it should be. <laughs> okay. Come out. What is, oh, I think I know what this is. I think this is the new product by you well. Oh, it's so little compared to the Raphael. This is the Raphael X. And if I'm not mistaken, this is, this is an RDA, but I could be mistaken. And they gave me four more. So giveaway items for you guys. And the last package. Told you guys it would be the quickest vape mail ever. This bag with this box in it. Ooh, I like the look of that. This will probably have to come sooner, this video, rather than later. I, I bet I even know what this is. I bet it's the, uh, the TC Cool Fire 4. Who wants to make a bet that that's what it is? Boom, that's what it is. We have the new Cool Fire 4 TC 100 watt and the new iSub V. I literally just got done doing a video for the iSub Apex 5 because I needed to have video for every iSub there is and now there's another one. And I got two more for giveaways, awesome. And then an extra iSub V for a giveaway sweet and lots of coils all right so there's my little tiny vape mail hope you guys enjoyed all right so announcing winners now i did do a giveaway oops earlier this week for two toro tanks by gosig along with five pack of coils so i am going to announce the winners for those i have a copper one and a black one here for giveaway and each have their own pack of five coils so there's seven coils total one installed one extra and then the pack and the two winners i recorded picking them out as i usually do on that random comment website but the two winners are robert cooper and kathy duncan all right here we go to pick a winner for the toro tank by goose egg and load all the comments not so many comments this time better chance for you guys to win and randomly pick a winner there's winner number one Robert Cooper and winner number two Kathy Duncan, woohoo! So congratulations to you both. Thank you so much for watching my videos. So if you are Robert or Kathy, you need to be 18 years or older and you need to be able to prove that you're 18 years or older. I will be replying to your comment on the original video and then we can discuss how you're going to prove you're 18. Most people just send me a picture of their face holding their ID so that I can see the 
person matches the person on the ID and so I can see your date of birth to prove that you're 18 years or older. All my giveaways are 18 plus, no ifs, ands, or buts, and you have to be able to prove it. If you can't prove it, uh, sorry, that's not my fault. It's your fault. Get an ID. So those are the two winners for that. And then in last week's vape vlog, I did a giveaway um, for SA3547. I wanted you guys to all call your representatives, your senators, and urge them to oppose because that would ban all of us vapors from taking anything vaping battery related in the check baggage or on a carry-on. So basically you'd either have to leave your vape at home and buy a new one when you got to where you're going and then leave it there and just spend a bunch of money on vape stuff that you couldn't even take with you or it seems like they're just trying to push us back into smoking and that is a no that it no. So that giveaway was for me to urge you guys to call your senators and I did like a little clip of little parts of me calling my senators here in Washington and so I was going to announce the winner today but I think that this is important enough that I want to extend it. I want people to have more time to have the incentive of the giveaway to go ahead and make the call so I am going to leave that giveaway and run it through until next week and announce the winner for the big vaping prize bundle. I didn't even show it because I can't show all of that stuff and I hadn't even picked out what I was going. It was kind of like a off the cuff giveaway that I was just like this would be a great incentive to get vapors to call their senators. So I am going to be extending that giveaway and still people are still commenting on that video so I'm going to be extending it one more week and then I'll be announcing it the winner for that. And then I kind of felt bad because I totally didn't even realize like if you don't live in the U.S. Then that giveaway was kind of like null and void because you don't have senators to call and you're not facing the same issues as we are here in the U.S. So I decided that I'm going to do another giveaway right here that will also be announced that is worldwide. You have to be 18 years or older and only comment one time. But I'm going to do a little giveaway here for all of my vapies that aren't in the U.S. and couldn't get in on that giveaway. So what I wanted to give away today for everyone to be eligible, and even if you entered into the giveaway for the Senate Amendment 3547, you can still enter this one as well. But what I'm giving away here is the new Raphael X, which is an RDA. So I just recently did my Raphael tank review, and I've given away so many of those and still have more to give away. But I'm giving away this, the RDA version of it, a package of gold edition Kendo Vape Cotton, and one of my favorite e-liquids of all time, a 30 mil bottle of Milk Plus by Bonsai Vapor. And this is, for people who are interested, this is 1.5 milligrams, and it's an 80 VG e-liquid. I do vape between zero and three milligrams. So I do zero sometimes, I do 1.5, and I do three. So I like do all of those because I eventually do want to wean myself off of nicotine completely. I'm just not completely there yet. So I got some 1.5s, some threes, some zeros. I do get my sample boxes in zero now, which is kind of a scary step for me, but I was like, I think it's time. I did have them, like, I think when I first started, I had them in 12, then I went to six real quick, and then I went down to three when they started offering it, and just recently I asked if I could change mine down to zero. But I get my favorites, like Milk Plus, and pound it in 1.5. So yes, this is the giveaway for everybody here on today's video, and just like all my other giveaways, it is super simple to enter. All you have to do is share this video anywhere on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Share it so all your vaping friends can see it too and get a chance to win if they want. If this prize interests them, then give this video a thumbs up and comment down below where you're from and if you have tried any of Bonsai Vapor's e-liquid, they're my favorite company. Like they make my favorite flavors ever and they have a lot of different flavors. I think they have like three different lines. They have their original line, they have their active line, and then like the Dynasty line. They make so many flavors and they're all so freaking good. So let me know if you've tried anything from Bonsai Vapor and let me know what you thought. Like if you've tried it and if you liked it or you didn't or if you haven't tried it, just let me know. I wanna know how many of you guys have discovered this amazing company. So good luck to everybody entering in for this giveaway and thank you so much for everybody who participated in last week's giveaway. I am going to extend that as I already said because I feel like it's an important enough issue. So if this is the first that you're seeing of that giveaway, like you didn't watch last week's vape vlog, you have to call your senators if you're in the U.S. and urge them to oppose the Senate Amendment 3547. And I will leave a link below to where you can find out who your senators are and who to call if you need to. And if you do do that, like if this is the first you're hearing of it, go back to last week's vape vlog and make sure you add your comment in to the rest of the comments so when I pick the winner from that video, your comment will be in the mix. And comment down below that you did it, that you called your senators, who you called, and what you said to them. So super short vape vlog today. I'm sorry guys. 
busy Sunday and I am still not done. I just got a bunch of hummingbird feeders, a bunch of hanging flowers. I got some fencing for my garden, a little flower bed. I got some wasp traps because wasp, hornet, and yellow jackets because when we cut down the trees in our property that you probably saw in last week's vape vlog if you were here for it, kind of bald-faced hornets like there must have been a nest of bald-faced hornets in one of those trees because they are the black hornets with like the white butts and or the, or, the, or the face is white either the butts are white or the faces are white but they are just like buzzing around our porch like trying to get in little crevices and make a nest and uh no thank you because I stepped on one of those when I was a little kid we were having a barbecue and it must have been on the ground like eating a piece of meat or something that dropped on the floor and mind you I was in like first grade and I stepped on that and I literally I remember to this day how much it hurt and how traumatized I was and no just not gonna happen the last time I was stung by a bee I don't know if it was a bee a wasp or anything because I didn't see was actually last summer but before that it had been years since I was stung by a bee and I was like well this isn't as bad and isn't as traumatic as when it, I was a child and got stung but it still freaking hurt for a long time. But oh man nothing compares to the feeling of stepping on a bald faced hornet. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I do have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos of whatever I feel like so if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related you can check out that channel and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining casa.org and fight for your right to vape so as always I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching I just realized I had something stuck in my tooth this whole video oh no